Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you, welcome to Makeup for Lost Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys three looks that I came up with from the Moon Slice Beauty Moon Magic palette. It's their basically monochromatic purple palette and it just seems like it's kind of a good mix between... It feels like a good mix between all of them. It actually feels like a miniature version of the Voldemorphe Such a Gem palette because it really has these like raspberries and reds and then it has pinks and purples. So I just feel like this is a really good mix and it's not exactly a monochromatic palette. That was false bitch and maybe get some inspiration for some three looks that you guys can come up with to use this palette and actually giving you my final thoughts at the end letting you know like what I think about this palette as a whole and also getting a chance to use a couple of other products new products aside from the palette like with my finished looks so if you're curious to see what I did with my three looks or how what the other products that I've been getting to use quarantine purchases a shame then just hang out okay so I'm already primed with my P Louise primer and I'm going to I want to test out this AOA E126 it looks dirty but it's clean I'm gonna go into this color right here first the colors on these palettes are not named to my knowledge I'm just gonna start packing that into the outer V and dragging it into my crease and I'm only gonna go up about this far and then I'm just feathering it out just tapping it You know, I really like these AOA brushes and they're kind of, they're strange. They're so, they're very inexpensive and that the material that they're made of is like, I, I don't know, it's almost like they're like Wet n Wild brushes, but they're super soft. And so they don't seem like they would really push product that well, but they really do. They're like fluffy little pillows and the whole set costs 10 bucks. I'm going to use my Alter Ego number one. It's a flat blending crease brush and I'm going to go into this color right here this bright bright pink and I'm just going to use this to blend out the edge and I'm actually going to go all the way into the inner corner with this I don't know if it's just the colors or what the deal is but these shadows just blend so good And then I'm going to use my Spectrum B06, which is a black owned brand, by the way. And I'm going to go into this lavender right here. And I'm going to use that as my transition. And then back in with my alter ego number one, I'm going to go back into that bright pink. These shadows are super buildable as well, which is nice. And then back in with my AOA E129 into that deepest, it's like a raspberry shade. And then back with my alter ego number one with no additional product, I'm just going to barely blend this out because I feel like I don't want to lose that deep, rich berry color by keeping burying it with this bright pink. And I can get a little bit more product in the inner corner because I really want that to be. And then back in, I am going to go back into and grab a little bit more lavender just because I, I want there to be some of that color showing on the outside there. Now I'm going to use my next glitter primer with my, how about my Voldemorphe M421. Little trick I learned from Anki. I'm going to use my Refer 02 and I'm going to go into this purple right here. And then back in with my AOA E129. I'm just going to 
dip back into this and just to spray it and just see what happens. Not a lot, just a little dab. And then just back over it with my Alter Ego number one to get that good blend again. And then with my Spectrum B06, I'm gonna use Voldemorphy JH43 Flat Smudger and I'm gonna go back into that deep raspberry. And then with my, this no name brush that I used to use all the time, I'm gonna go into that pink. I'm trying to keep this a little clean. I don't know if you guys noticed. I'll just use my Spectrum B06 and I'm just gonna tap into that lavender and I'm just gonna blend out that edge. Maybe put a little bit more right here. I'm just actually only applying product to one side of the brush so that I can just focus it. and kind of keep more purple on the bottom. That is perfection uh, as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna use my Alter Ego number seven and I'm gonna go into this pink right here. I'm gonna use that for my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna spray it. Instead of putting a shimmer on the lower lid, I'm gonna go back in with that raspberry with the splat smudger and I'm gonna reinforce this and go dark instead of light. Love it. Where's my, I swear to God, it's a blind lead in the fucking blind here. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that flat brush and just barely blend this out. I don't wanna lose it. I just don't want a harsh line. Well, maybe a little bit of a harsh line. I'm just gonna take my uh, Alter Ego number seven with the, a product that was already on there and just lightly dust that. And then back in with my Spectrum. I'm going to finish the rest of my look and I'll be back. So this is the finished look. I added a wing because I felt like it was just a little bit blase for what I've been doing lately. So I added a wing and added some lashes and now it looks super witchy and totally badass. I love the effect that adding that lighter purple around the outside edge gave to it. It almost makes it look like it's got a neon glow about it. And I use my Lime Crime plushies in the color Violet on my lips and I used my LA Girl Neon Shockwave in the color Blaze on my waterline. This is a lip liner and it works on the waterline really well. So just in case anybody was wondering, looking for a, another option besides ColourPop, these are five bucks. I used my Black Moon Cosmetics eye wigs and I think it's in the style Orion, but I threw that fucking box away too. Anyway, these aren't my favorite lashes by them, but they are just so comfortable and they, they're just super wearable. So yeah, I love this look and this is look number one. Let me know what you guys think and let's get into look number deuce. The deuce. Okay, I'm st I'm gonna start with my Alter Ego number four and I'm gonna go into this deepest like red brick red shade and hope for the best. I know my brush looks dirty, it's not. I'm taking this all the way in. And then I'm gonna use my Zoeva 227 and I'm gonna go into this like mauve -y, dusty rose color. And I'm just gonna use this to blend this out. Back in with my Alter Ego number four. I want this to be really dark. Now I'm going back into that mauve color.
Then I'm gonna take that same brush, Alter Ego number four, and I'm just gonna run this dark color along my lower lid. And then back into that mauve color, that rose. And back into the deeper shade. I'm literally just using these two shades. And now I'm gonna use my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm gonna use my BMX 402. And then with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual Ended Brush, I'm gonna go into this deep shade right here. And then with the back side of that same brush, I'm gonna go into this deepest like burgundy sh like satiny shimmer then I'm going back with my alter ego And then with my Zoeva 227. And then with my Voldemorphe JH39, I'm going into that deep shade, the little spray. And I really like that red. I'm just gonna take that deepest shade and I'm gonna go all the way around the inner corner here. I think I'm gonna use a little tiny bit of this color over the top of it. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna try to use my pinky without poking my fucking eye out. And then I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of that and brush it along my brow bone. Mm, that color's pretty magical, actually. Transformative. Oh man. You guys see this? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, finish up my face, and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the finished look, the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. I fucking feel like sexy as fuck. I feel like I feel totally vampy, like I wanna drink somebody's blood. It, do I have any volunteers? And um, I use my Lime Crime plushies. They're just so easy and comfortable and I have a color for every look. So they're kind of a no-brainer. Uh, I feel like lately a lot of times I've been putting on a lipstick that doesn't match and then I have to take it off and then it, the line gets higher and higher. By the time it gets to you guys, I've got lipstick to my fucking nose. In the color Blackberry and then I use my Black Moon Cosmetics eye wigs in the, I think they're Lynx. I used them again because I think I've got this liner thing down so they look a little bit not so swaggy. And then I used my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Alkaline on my waterline. So I also used, and I kind of, I just want to scream about these. I used my um, Moonlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics and the color Shroom and god it just looks so pretty. I, you guys probably can't even see it but it's just super pretty. It's almost pink it's like almost it's like it wants to be pink it's like i it's like eh, eh. the pink is like let me know what you guys think about look number two and let's get into look number three Okay, so my eyes are primed with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use my Alter Ego number four and I'm gonna go into this deepest plummy purple shade. And I'm just gonna start packing this into the outer V. This is really pigmented, holy fuck. And I'm just tapping the line that I wanna go to. Just winging it out a little tiny bit, not a lot. See that shape? It's like 
I don't want to go above this line because the color I'm putting above it is going to be pretty deep as well, so I don't want to get all crazy, or do I? Sometimes I find that if I tap the shadow on, it kind of just sits there and I really have to be sure to like blend this in right here to make sure that it really adheres to the primer. Now I'm just feathering this out, giving it a little blend on the edge without like dragging it up. And then I'm gonna go in with a uh, Voldemorphe M506 and I'm gonna go into this purple shade right here. Carnival, the carnival shade. Do, 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 do. I'm just going 50% on and 50% off like I do sometimes. I feel like I don't always do anything, so. I've realized lately that if I hold my pinky out like that, it gives me just a lighter touch that I have grown to find useful. I told that to my friend who's an artist and she was like, is it, a, she said something like, yeah, like it's something about the weight or something. And I, I don't know, but that made sense to me. Maybe it's the delicate nature of holding your pinky out. I don't know, but it just does something for my blend. Then I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number 19 and I'm gonna go into this like dusty purple right here. It's like the light, a light transition shade, but it's a little more dusty. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start blending that out. I'm gonna go back in with my Alter Ego number four into that deepest shade. And I'm actually just going completely above my crease. So I'm not gonna be able to tell if there's any creasing unless it's like right here in the outer V because I'm not even in the crease at all. I really like this palette. Oh, I'm, I went back into that carnival, the circus purple with my Voldemort M506. And then back in with my Wayne Goss number 19 into that dusty purple. And I really like that dimension I've got going on here. Now I'm going in with my Moda Pro BMX 402 smudger brush. Can you guys even see it when I do that? And I'm just gonna line this. My Voldemort M506, I'm gonna go into that purple purple. And then with my Wayne Goss number 19, I'm gonna go into that dusty purple and just blend this out. I'm going back in with my Alter Ego number four and I'm just gonna build this up a little bit more. I'm having a hard time getting that to stay deep. I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise and Mama Mitchell Acid Rain Eye Paint in blank canvas. It's just flesh color with my P. Louise cut crease brush. And just back in with this alter ego number four. And I'm just gonna pat this to get rid of the harsh line. I'm going to take that dusty purple mat and I'm gonna use my rougher O2. And I'm just gonna start patting this on here.
All right, and then I'm gonna take my Sigma E60 large shader brush, and I'm gonna dip that into this pink. I've noticed this pink is kind of chunky, so I'm gonna try something different with it, and I'm just gonna go like this. Back in with my alter ego number four and just patting out this. And then back in with my Sigma E60 and just kind of dragging this. Uh, I feel like this is a dangerous game right here. I'm gonna spray this brush and see what happens. I just wanna even it out. There we go. Just barely, I mean, lightly pulling this. And then I'm gonna go in with my mm, my Voldemort uh, pencil brush from the Isolate collection and I'm gonna go into this pinky purple and I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm gonna use this for my inner corner highlight. Just using my Ruffer O2 to blend these colors together in the back. Mm, that's not as spectacular as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna use my alter ego number seven and I'm going to go into this chunky pink color and I'm gonna spray my brush. And I'm gonna use that on my lower lid. Mm, that looks a lot better. I think I'm gonna try to do that with this Sigma brush and I'm just gonna spray it. I like that a lot better. This color is chunky, but it's also really multi-dimensional. And so if you're not careful, it looks like it isn't in spots that it is because it turns like white, whitish pink. It goes from like whitish pink to lavender. And so it looks really bright, but then in the divot where my eye sinks in, the light doesn't hit it the same. And so it looks a little bit like it's not there. I don't remember what look it was, but I tried to use this color, that pink and as my brow bone highlight and it looked like shithole. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm going in with my Wayne Goss number 19 and I'm just gonna use that. And I'm just gonna give this a quick blendy poo around the edges. Make sure Sure everything's nice and blunt. I'm gonna actually tap into that dusty purple. The fallout is real bitch. I feel like I had that problem last time as well. It's like right there, like totally built up. Okay, this look didn't turn out as great as I thought it was going to. I'm gonna go finish the other eye and my eyebrows and my waterline and blah, 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 blah and I'll be back when I'm done. I'm a mess. Okay, this is the manifesto. So I use my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Lippy in the color alone. I learned about it from Makeup by Anki. I actually use my lip vel, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw my previous video. I used another one of the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and I talked about the oil spill and blah, blah, blah. Well, that lipstick didn't travel and I don't think I shook it up well enough. And also I don't think I needed to use my lip vel, but I did and this color actually has this beautiful like pink fuchsia shift once it dries and sets up I, I'm sure that you guys can at least see the hint of it I uh, love this lipstick it's pretty fucking great so um, I use my glamnetic eye wigs they're actually magnetic eyelashes and there is a learning curve and they're purple and black I use the style ego just to let you guys know and be transparent they are not fucking cruelty free so that's it. I also use my Black Moon Cosmetics highlighter in Cat Shark. I actually went in and put that on my inner corner and then on my brow bone because like I felt like this look kind of sucked at first. And so now that I have everything all together, I use my Milk Makeup gel liner in the color Boss on my waterline and I also tight lined just to give it something. I literally have been spent like a lot of time here trying to give it something. So that's the final look number three. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. I actually, I love this color story more than a lot of the purple palettes that I have. I had problems with this color right here and I had problems 
problems with this color right here. I feel like it's kind of the same as with the Emerald palette that when I went to use shades that look darker than other shades, they actually ended up not being darker. And so that's a problem for me. I did have a little bit of trouble blending this out, but I also can't tell if it's because I used the ABH primer. And so a lot of you guys do use the ABH primer. And so if, if this is the color that you're drawn to right here, this purple, um, then this is definitely going to be a no-go for you. So anyways, um, this is actually my least favorite look of the three. I um, had a really good time playing with this palette. I was actually in a hurry today, and so I feel like that has something to do with the reason why I was so unhappy with the look and why um, I had so many problems. Cause So if this is like, this ain't the quick and dirty, right? Like the Menagerie Cosmetics. This is like the you have a lot more colors, you have a lot more options, you can do a lot more things with this, you can totally go with these like wearable colors, wearable, if you're into like work makeup, or you can do these crazy colors over here, crazy colors, bold colors. I feel like this right here, this shadow right here, this shimmer is really unique. So anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite look? Are you curious about any of the other products that I used? Hang out with me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see every time I upload. Hit the like button if you like any of these looks or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boyish charm. And... You guys could have been anywhere, but you were spending your valuable time with me and I totally appreciate you later.